How's it going, everyone? I hope everybody's enjoying their week. My name is Black Apino the Apple Guy, and I want to welcome everybody to my channel. And if you're new here, please think about subscribing and hitting that like button if this video is going to be helpful. Today, I'm going to be doing my final review of the Blink XT2 wireless security system from Amazon. So I've actually bought this camera about five months ago, back in August. Uh, so basically, I guess you could say around the end of, kind of on the tail end of summer, early fall. And due to the fact that I live in Alaska, a lot of people kind of have their, um, I don't want to say they're a bit skeptical about using wireless security cameras in extreme cold weathers. And by extreme, I mean just the normal temperature weather, the normal weather we get in the winter time, which usually, depending on the month, it usually does dip into the negatives, usually around negative four, negative three. So if you have a wireless camera, usually you're okay with that, but people are still skeptical with that because it does tend to get a lot colder than that here. And within uh, the last couple of weeks, it has been into the negative 10s, negative 12, negative 15s. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about my security camera and why I think that it should be a serious contender for those out there looking to want to buy a wireless camera but are still on the fence about a lot of these uh, the Blink X-T2 should be considered one because it is a very good camera. And again, I've had this thing since August of last year. So really for the last five months, and it has worked flawless. I have not had a single issue with it. Even when it has been into the negatives, when it's dipped down to like say negative 13 degrees or negative 10, I have not had an issue with the battery. I've not had to replace the battery, nor have I had issues with the video or the audio or any sound quality whatsoever. When I look at the live feed from my camera, anytime I get notifications, I have not had any issues whatsoever. So I think people are just, again, are a little bit skeptical when it comes to obviously living in Alaska and when to buy wireless cameras for security reasons because it does tend to get cold. So the batteries don't really last as long. And with this being an exception with the Blink XT, which Amazon says they offer as two years worth of battery life, it actually does hold up to that. Again, it's been into the negatives here, and my camera has worked flawless. I have not had an issue with it whatsoever, and it does shoot in 1080, so it is shooting in HD, and I have not had an issue with it whatsoever. So obviously, with that being said, I'm not going to go too much into a lot of the options on this camera, as I have made a few other videos that I talk about which I will have links in the descriptions on that. And I will also have a link in the description on where you can buy this at. Uh, you can get this obviously at Amazon and it's about an $89 camera. If you want to do add-ons for it, that's an additional uh, $80 per camera. And I just want to give you a reminder that these cameras, uh, the starter setup that you buy comes with both the hub and the camera you can add up to 10 cameras with just that one setup by itself. And again, I will have a link in the description on the unboxing of this camera, but I just wanted to give everyone a heads up on that, that you can add additional cameras with just buying the $90 setup. So um, I'm just gonna kind of go really quick into some of just, again, some of the features that you get with this camera, obviously with the free cloud recording that you get with Blink. I have not seen that on any other camera. Uh, on the market, obviously you have Ring out there and you have Arlo's. And aside from just the wired systems that you buy, if you buy a wireless camera, they don't really offer you anything free. They give you like a 30 day trial and then after that you pay subscription. But with the Blink XT from Amazon, it literally does give you free cloud storage. And so I'm gonna show you exactly um, how that works in terms of how it's stored and what you can do with those videos. So we're just gonna kind of go into the settings um, actually, I'm sorry, into the folders, and it's going to be the clip roll, which is symbolized by the folder with the little yellow dot. Basically, with the yellow, anytime the folder has an indicator on it, that means that the camera has recorded some video. So, what do I mean by storing the video? As you can see from the top, it says storage. I'm at 6%. I can have this either auto deleted at three days, so after every three days, whether there's videos on there or not, it will delete those. If I want to do it at seven days, and after seven days, it deletes those all the way up to one year. I have it at 30 days, so anything older than 30 days that is on my video clips, it will automatically delete those. 
or if you feel the need to, you can actually manually delete them, which I usually tend to do because it's just easier that way. So what I do is basically I just swipe from right to left and that deletes that video if I want to do that. And I keep doing this until I am either no longer need that video or if it was just a video that I just didn't really, didn't really capture anything and I just simply just remove that. Or what I can do is if you see down at the bottom where it says edit, I can simply tap on that and I can delete older videos. So anything from Thursday, I just tap on this and I tap on highlighting all of those from last week all the way up to where it shows whatever the next day that I want. So I want to get rid of all these up until that's up all the way up to last week. So I just hit delete. It deletes those. Then I simply exit out. Then I go back into the video. And again, usually depending on how many videos you delete, it shows how much storage you have left. So that's just some of the cool features that you can do with it. Um, and again, this is all from a $90 camera. Some really cool settings. It does give you the temperature outside. So as I was mentioning before in Alaska, especially if you live in Anchorage, it does get into the negative degree weathers. So as you can see, it's showing it at 17 degrees, but sometimes if it's in the negatives, it still works fine because as you, see, as you can see, it does the battery monitoring also. It says everything is okay. And anything new that's updated on the app, it will show it in beta form. So as you can see, it shows early notifications in beta form. Basically that means that anytime I get a notification, and I click on that notification, it automatically goes directly into the live feed for whatever was recorded at that time. Um, and that's just some of the cool features that this thing does. And again, I've had this camera for about five months. It works flawless. I have not had an issue with it. You can add up to 10 cameras additional off of the one set. And each camera itself is about 80 bucks as opposed to say buying additional cameras for say like a ring or an Arlo where they're typically around the hundred plus dollars and that depends on how much you spent on the system itself so the app the app does do a good job of keeping up with the updates so with that in mind that is all that I'm going to be talking about with the Blink XT from Amazon I will have the link in the description for everything that I've talked about so that you can take a look at it so again, I want to thank everybody. For